Okay, away we go. So we're going to start with a warm up, march on the spot as per usual. Just going to get everything working so that we've got no um, no injury or you know limited chance of any sort of injury. We seem to have ants indoors. That's not a good start, is it? Uh, so just march on the spot, trying to get those knees up gradually, getting them up as high as you can. Uh, everybody's muted, so if you want to listen to music at your, on your uh, your side of things, you can do. Switch your Fitbits on if you haven't already. I'm going to do one round, but I'll still switch mine on just for this first round. And I'll try and remind people to switch them off at the end. When I say people, I mean my mum, obviously. So march on the spot, getting those knees up nice and high. Just doing a three minute warm up. So feet are going to come hip distance apart, we're coming down into your squats. So again, because it's your warm up, I'm not looking for really deep squats in this first instance. Just nice and shallow to start with. And as your legs start to warm up, as your joints start to warm up, you're going to drop yourself down deeper and deeper into that squat. And just try and stick your bum back out behind you and make sure that you're um, not bringing your knees forward over your toes. Okay. I'm going to do side to side lunges. So again, if you struggle with this lateral movement or this side to side movement, either just temper it so that you're not going quite as far over. Um, you're not dropping back into the squat quite so much. We're just trying to, to warm up the inner thighs. We are going to be doing a few Cossack squats, which are like basically these ones, but going quite deep down into the squat. Um, sorry, <laughs> I just got ants on the floor. It's really distracting. Um, so we're just coming side to side, warming up those inner thighs, feet are facing forwards, keeping your heels planted on the ground at this point, keeping your bum back out behind you. And then we're going to come into those reverse lunges, so we're stretching out those hip flexors at the front of your, your uh, hips, so the muscles that join the hips to the thighs, getting a nice stretch down those hip flexors. And again, when we come into the Cossack squats, people can um, do reverse lunges or forward lunges rather than the side to side lunges if it feels more comfortable. Good, we're going to open out the chest, so stretching the chest out, bring those arms nice and wide. And then taking them out on the diagonal, so we're stretching through, nice deep stretch through the pectorals. And then like we're doing backstrokes, so loosen off those shoulders. Just try and make sure that we're getting any crunching and cracking out. Keeping the joints nice and loose. And then bring it forward like we do a front crawl. Brilliant. And then we're just going to do the lower back and the waist. So lifting the heel off the ground, just so, so we're not putting pressure through the knees. And just loosening off that mid, mid torso area. So through the back and through the waist. Awesome, brilliant. So, your eight exercises that we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to do one and a half squats. So you're gonna come down to the bottom of your squat, halfway up, down to the bottom and all the way up. If you want to make that harder, you can, you can add a jump in. So you can come into a jump and a pulse, a jump and a pulse. So I'm just gonna do the lower intensity version of one and a half squats. If you're struggling with your knees, don't do the half at the bottom, just do sort of a shallow squat, just for the time that we're going through. Side to side press ups. There's always got to be some form of press up in these workouts. So your hands are gonna stay where they are and your body's gonna move side to side, okay? So you're on your knees, you're gonna move over to one side, across the other. So the idea is your hands don't move, but you move your body side to side. Again, if you struggle with that, normal press ups, and you can do them from a raised position, you can do them from the floor, you can do them from a wall, okay? Uh, next, we're going to do bear crawl hold. So you bear crawl, you're on your hands and knees, and you're just lifting your knees up off the floor by an inch or two, you're going to hold that. If you want to make that a bit more challenging, you can add in a shoulder tap if you want to really engage through the core. And if you want to take the intensity down, hold it for 
five or ten seconds and release, then I can hold it for five or ten seconds and release. Uh, but we're going to hold that for the time. Uh, the standard is just going to hold the bear claw for the time that it takes, okay? Um, glute bridges from a raised surface. So, uh, back of your shoulders are going to be either on a sofa or a coffee table. We're going to be in a <coughs> camera's not set up in the greatest of positions. We're going to be in a glute. Glute um, bridge position. We're going to come up and squeeze the bum cheeks back down. Up and squeeze the bum cheeks back down. If you want to make that harder, if you've got a weight or a child, you can put on your waist. Cossack lunges, so these are your side to side lunges where you're coming down, lifting your toes off the floor, and just making sure, and again, depending on your range of motion, however low, low down you get into those, my central gravity won't let me go too low down. Flutter kicks, so you're on the ground, you're going to just kick the feet, okay? So like scissor kicks. I'm going to do heel slides, so I'm going to lie flat. And just do heel slides, but you guys can do flux of kicks, okay? Wall sit, so again, we're just doing an isometric wall sit, sitting against the wall, holding the pose, and then finally pipe press up. So, if there's any problems with the shoulders, we're gonna do standing shoulder circles. If you've not got any problems with your shoulders, we're gonna do pipe press ups. So, bums up in the air, up onto your tiptoes, heads coming down towards the ground, and again. If you're struggling with that, you can do it from a raised surface, okay? And just try and make sure that it's the top of the head that's coming down to the ground and not your face, okay? So there are eight exercises that we're going to do for 30 seconds each. Um, and then I'll stop recording, but if you go on to do a second and a third round, your second round will be 45 seconds, your third round will be a minute, and that's what we're going to do today, okay? So we're starting with your one and a half squats. So either jump in them, or just um, taking the plyometric element out. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. So we're squatting down to the bottom, halfway up, down to the bottom, all the way up. Or you can jump, half a pulse, jump, half a pulse, okay? But I'm just gonna do squat, halfway up, squat, all the way up, squat, halfway up. And again, this first round should feel quite easy. It should just be kind of getting you warmed up. And then it should get more intense as the rounds progress. Three, two, so it's your side to side press ups next. So we're down onto the floor. Hands are quite, probably slightly wider than a normal press up. Okay. And then we're gonna move the body side to side. So try and come forward so you can see me. Try not to cross those feet over. So one side and then the other. So it's almost bringing your chest down to your hand on either side. Okay, so as I've said before, try not to cross your feet, your ankles, because it will put pressure through one or the other of your knees. We want to try and make sure that both knees are being evenly used. We've got five more seconds going through the motions of those side to side press ups without moving your hands. And rest, bear crawl, hold. So you're down, still down on your hands and knees. Hands are directly underneath your shoulders, knees are directly underneath your hips. You're gonna tuck your toes under and just lift your knees off the floor. Three, two, one. So we're just lifting the knees slightly, so we're still in that position, but you're squeezing through your stomach. Again, if you wanna make it harder, you can do shoulder taps in this position if you've got the balance to be able to keep your knees lifted off the floor and raise a hand. I'm just going to do 10 second hold and then rest. You're just squeezing that belly button in nice and tight to the spine. Good. Your glute bridges are next, so we're going to get the shoulders up onto a sofa or a chair or a step or a box or a bench. Anything that you've got, shoulders are coming up onto that. Feet are going to be directly underneath the knees. You can do it flat from the floor. If you don't have a raised surface, you can do it just flat from the floor. So we're squeezing up through the bum cheeks, dropping back down, squeeze up through the bum cheeks, trying to make sure that we're pre predominantly pushing through the heels. So I don't want any weight going into your toes with these. Trying to make sure as you push up, you're just using your heels to push through and squeeze your bum cheeks as though you've got a walnut or a peanut or something that we're trying to squish. 
Good, Cossack lunges. So these are your Russian lunges, your side to side ones. Nice and wide with your feet, lifting your toes off the ground side to side. Ready, three, oh. three, two, one. So dropping the bum down side to side. Again, if you struggle with this lateral movement, you can do reverse lunges, you can do forward lunges. You don't have to do the side to side movement if you struggle for any reason. But it does allow you to turn your feet out so that your knees can track and um, turn a little bit better. And you're not putting that pressure through twisting through the knees. Okay. Awesome. So flutter kicks and down on the floor. Okay, so either lay flat with your hands underneath your lower back or your bum, or if you want, you can raise yourself up, make it a little bit uh, easier, raise yourself up on your elbows. Okay, you're gonna bring your head and shoulders off the floor and you're gonna flutter kick. So keeping those feet nice and low. If you feel like you're starting to feel it in your lower back, then bring your feet up a little bit higher. Okay, I'm gonna do heel slides. So I'm taking my feet out one at a time, pushing my back down into the ground. But the idea is you wanna, whichever variation you're doing, you're aiming on pulling your belly button into your spine, pushing the spine down into the ground. Okay, so really pull through those stomach muscles. Good. Rolling across the floor. Wall sit, so either using a wall if you've got one or if you haven't, just do a squat hold. So it doesn't matter if you haven't got a wall free, you can just come into an isometric squat hold. Okay, so if you've got a wall, back's flat to the wall, squeezing your spine again in towards, trying to make sure your weight's evenly distributed through your feet. So you're not pushing forward onto your toes, but similarly you're not pulling back onto your heels. You just want to be feeling that burn through the thighs. Make sure you're down low enough that ideally your legs are 90 degrees to the ground and you don't want to be resting your hands or pulling your back away from the wall. So keeping the chest upright, keeping the hands free from the knees. Brilliant. Last one's going to be your pike press ups. So you can either do them from a raised surface, from the floor, or you can do arm circles if you struggle with putting weight bearing exercises through your shoulders. So up onto your tippy toes, heads between your hands and it's top of the head coming down to the floor, okay? So trying to make sure you won't fall, I promise. Your body won't let you. You have got enough strength to be able to do this, okay? This is your last exercise, you get a minute's rest after this. Good, and rest there. Grab yourselves a quick drink. Okay, so we're gonna stop the recording now, but if you are watching this on YouTube, you're gonna go back, you can do a second round of those same exercises, but set your timer up for 45 seconds with a 10 second rest or a 15 second rest in between. And then your third round is gonna be a minute with a 10 second rest or a 15 second rest in between. Okay, so.